food is ready. Is it painful? Did you take out to the hospital today? No, I was busy today. I will do it tomorrow. So you think I held to wait for you to be ready before you 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 you, you, you can attend to it? Ah, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. This is important. I know. At least eat your food before it gets cold. Who cooked this food? I did. Is there any problem? No, not at all. I don't remember that I actually ate earlier on today. Mm. Should I pack it for you tomorrow no. later? No, no, no. Just, um, when you're done, please arrange the table uh, to look neat. I'm sure you can do that. Eat your food. Daddy is tired now. Eat. What's going on? What's going on? I'm talking about the way you're discriminating between Akita and Kamini. You were a mother, so how can you do such an injustice to an innocent little girl? Hey. Hey, Hi, honey. Ah. Uh, oh. I'm exhausted. Tough day? You don't know the half of it. <laughs> You know the Ministry for Rural Development? They try to drain your husband, but I won't let them. What happened? Well, His Excellency today um, launched 18 borehole projects in you know, some select towns in different local government areas. And then he put me in charge. A lot of work. But what delayed me, though, was that um, the wife of one of the chiefs, you know, in Osara, offered me a badger. And I couldn't say no. That was why you said you weren't hungry, right? Oh, come on, babe. Now you don't have to be like that. Of course, you know I have a huge appetite, especially when it comes to your food. So just watch me raid your kitchen when it gets oh. to midnight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough about me. How did your day go? Uh, very well. I got to sell 12 tickets to two families looking to vacation with the kids in Seychelles. Nice. Mm -hmm. Seychelles, eh? Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's, um, that's in Africa, right? 
Um, it's somewhere off the coast of Africa. It's a beautiful place. Right, business is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that reminds me. Yeah. When are we going to take the kids vacationing? Um. Okay. Now that you mentioned it, I'll just um. You know what? Why don't we just wait till after the borehole project? Please. You know, at least that way I can. No, no, no that way I can. You know, ask for some time off work, and it would um, the leave time would just fall into Christmas, and then we all can jet off. Yay! Sounds like a plan. You're happy. Mm -hmm. Do I get a kiss? Yes, I get a kiss. <laughs> mm. I'm sticky. I'm out of here. Rushing out to the park. <laughs> you coming? For what? Let's get nasty, baby. Come on, I'll be waiting for you to take those clothes off. <laughs> you coming? I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, please, I'm so, so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's all right, yeah. I'm sorry. All right, yeah. I used to do this with my husband. You're worried? Six interesting years. But I don't want to talk about it. See? It fits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how did you know? Lucky guess. <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> I'd like to return it. But I guess uh, I would need an address.
I hadn't been going to night in school. Uh, yeah, it's just Betty. I get the second crash up and for so, normally so cool. It's us, you know, but it's us. Yes. What do you say? Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. 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 What is it? How did you baby look at our boss? Duben! Duben! Yes, ma. Why did you make my children cry? I didn't beat them. I told them to read their books, then go to bed. And you punished them by stopping their game? Ma, Oga said they should read and do the assignment. Shut up! Give me that. It's yours. Come back here! Then come back here. The next time you make my children cry, you will see Pepe. Come on, get out of my sight. It's yours. Did you come with your original copy of your curriculum fitting? <laughs> wow. I, I sure did have a nice time. Pity. We have to go back to our spouses we don't like. <laughs> yeah. I wish we can run away somewhere. Anyway. Spoken like a teenager in love. So, run to where? I don't know. Australia? Enjoy each moment as it passes by. And after a long day of hustling, you are there to take away all the tension. You know, I wish we were married. This time. Answer me. You think I can smell her perfume on you? Pastor Henry's ticket to South Africa. Okay, ma. 
Oh yeah, he only likes to fly South African Airways. I remember. And I also found that he only likes uh, window seat, not near the toilet. Perfect. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I'm hungry. You didn't cook at home. Don't start. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, dear. Bye. All right, bye. Take care of the office. Okay, okay mom. Right back. As well. I'm sure Nick will love this. Look. Don't you think it will look good on Nick? Whatever. Okay, well, he likes shots like this. <laughs> now, that is what I am talking about. Oh. <laughs> Lizzie, you spent so much on your husband. Shouldn't it be the other way round? <laughs> Loretta, Nick is not just my husband. He's my best friend and my world. <sighs> Look, he loves and adores me so much. No matter what I spend on him, it would never be too much. Hmm? I swear, I... <sighs> I don't know what my life would be if I'd not gotten married to him. Hmm. You are so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's even small, see? He helps me around the house and even in the kitchen, and he never complains. <laughs> that's the last thing Charles would do. After watching football, that's when he comes back home on time. He gets easily irritated by anything I do, and sometimes comes back home smelling of women. That's your fault. What do you mean? I gave him two kids. I cook for him and have his clothes washed. How is it my, my fault? Loretta, you and Charles got married three years after us. And to be honest, you were such a hot number then. I mean, girl, you were on fire. But you kind of let yourself drift, sorry. It comes with childbearing. No. Are you kidding me? I have two children. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know that every woman has their own body type, but in as much as men don't like to admit it, a man always wants his wife to be the same look and body shape as when he was first attracted to her. Lizzie, you can't cheat nature. You can't. Yes, but you can help it. Girl, look at me. Do you want to know how hard I work to keep my husband tantalized and drooling all over me? <laughs> you don't want to know. And the best part, I cook all of his meals. Is that why you never had the house help? I have one. And I've always had a house help. I just make sure that I do all the major, you know, chores for my husband and my kids. There's an old saying that goes, the way to a man's heart is his stomach. You miss that, you miss everything. My case is different. My husband prefers the maid's cooking to mine. That's a big, fat mistake. Please, we can't all be as perfect as you and your husband. Enough. I 
That's a nice dress. Yes, it is. But what do you think about this for Charles? Don't he look handsome in it? Let's go. What did I say, Loretta? Promise to take me to the cinema. Did I? You forgot. Oh, sorry, I am. Um, let's keep my mind. Do you even remember you have a wife? Loretta, I, I am. Um, I'm not in the mood for all of this right now. Okay, Nagin and you know. It's not in the mood for what? What am I doing? You are doing it all by yourself. For licking with women all over. Really? Yes. Have you... Have you looked at the mirror lately? No, have you just by chance passed the mirror? Just by chance? All you do is eat. Eat. And eat. You disgust me. With your nails, your hair, your dressing. So you feel that I will be proud to carry you out there and say this is my wife. And then you'll be there proud. Is that and my fault? No, it's my fault. Why can't you be like your friend Nick? Huh? He is the embodiment of a true husband. God's perfect gift to a woman. Every woman's dream. Why can't you be like him? You know, you, you, you are right. You are very right. But you, you also use the key word there, woman. Are you a woman? Do you even feel like a woman? You just read my mind. I was actually going to send you to go and meet Nick's wife, a woman, a real woman, to teach you how to be a good wife and a good mother. And a woman. Instead of you standing here looking like my late grandmother. Cheese balls. <laughs> As you know, I have done two successive terms. Two, two exemplary terms, Your Excellency, if you'll allow me add. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. As you can see, my greatest fear is continuity. Will all my good words go down the drain, or will it be sustained by the next tenant of this building? Oh, well, Your Excellency, I do believe that... Um... That was a rhetorical question, my dear. However, finding a successor is even more important to me than anything else. Uh, Your Excellency, if you would please allow me to say this, I do believe that there are men of proven records, you know, that can step in when you leave office. That shouldn't be a problem. Shut up, Nick. Don't dampen my enthusiasm, you know. I know you are not hearing me. I want somebody who is far better than me. 
someone who is both humble and respectable. More importantly, one with sound leadership skills and charisma. I've looked everywhere and no one fits the bill except you. Yes, you heard me right. Your Excellency, I... <laughs> you... <laughs> Barely a year ago, Your Excellency, you... You skipped a lot of my superiors and made me a commissioner in the state. Your Excellency, I am yet to recover from that. I don't know how you expect me to handle this. Nick, in less than one year, you keep surprising everybody with your hard work. In fact, I want you to realize that you are easily the best performing commissioner in my cabinet. In fact, I am very proud of you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Just say yes, and I will make you the next governor of this state on a platter of gold. And I am very confident that you will not disappoint me and this state. Your Excellency, I am. I don't know what to say. Excellency. Uh, <laughs> not yet, Charles. Not yet. Uh. Ah, so, yes. What did you tell him? Uh, well, I told him that um, that I would have to think about this one. You would have to think about this one. Yes. <laughs> Look. Uh, if I advise you as a brother, yeah. this is one opportunity you have to jump on. So many people would kill to have what you have right now. I understand that, Charles. And as tantalizing as the offer may seem, I need to remind you, my friend, that when it comes to politics, I am, I'm still a novice, you know. Well, that's not important. Look, you have the backing of a uh, Two-time governor. Mm. <laughs> That's all you need. All you need. Besides, um, when you get into the game, you would understand the ropes and how to play the game better. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to quit my job to support you full-time. <laughs> really, you would? I'll quit it with speed. Just say, I... <laughs> How nice of you, my friend. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. But like I said, I will think about this one. You better think about it. Don't enter your brain and help you think. <laughs> Climbing the mountain, sailing the waters, deep in the flow. Nick, you have a very big heart, you know. <laughs> Why would you say that, Charles? Huh? Are you now a surgeon? Uh, how, how did you know? Uh, huh? Hey, Lizzie. Yes? I mean, the way you took her back after everything. Ah, uh, that. I think I'm the lucky one here, you know. She. She took me back. Charles, you see that woman right there? She is. She's my everything. You know, that woman right there completes me in every area of my life. She's my, she's my soulmate. 
So yes, I tell you that I, I, I got lucky. You know, because you know, sometimes I, I sit back, my friend, and I think deeply of what life would have been without Lizzie. Ah, uh, I tell you, it would have been, it would have been miserable. You can imagine what life would be like when you finally become governor, the governor of the state. Now that is fulfillment. A feeling that you have never felt before. <laughs> you, you think? Yeah. <laughs> nah. Oh, yeah. I think you're wrong, Charles. Believe me when I tell you you're wrong. You see, Lizzie, that is the center of my world. So give me Lizzie anytime, any day, and take the government house. I really don't care. I would still be the happiest man alive, I tell you. Right? That's, that's my world right there. We draw the statement. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the Godfather, good to see you, sir. Thank you. Good to see you, sir. The Godfather. Thank you. Uh, I saw your family back there. Yeah. <laughs> lucky bastards. Are they? <laughs> so lucky to have you. I am lucky to have them as well. And uh, speaking of which, I have a message from the governor. Oh, really? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Nick? Godfather. You know, you are our best chance at winning the next election if you pick up the party ticket. Uh, thank you very much, Godfather. I am really humbled by your vote of confidence. Uh, yes. But the thing is, um, no one has told me yet um, who I'll be running against, just in case I choose to do this at the end of the day. You tell him, Charles. Oh, yeah. Jerry Okoye is his name. Jerry Okoye, I don't know. I don't know him. He's an architect. He spent over 20 years of his life in the USA. And uh, I must say, he's uh, rich, very rich. Okay. <laughs> With that kind of CV, Godfather, how, how do I compete with this man? You relax. That's why I am here. Together, with your political innocence and my more than 30 years tough experience and of course the governor's backing will secure you a very sound victory. Don't give me that look. I mean, he said it all and um, yeah, I believe him. So, you should believe him too.
how you feel, okay? But you also need to understand that she's a woman and she's your wife. You as the husband would need, Charles, to learn how to go easy on yes. her. But I don't think you understand. You don't understand. This, this, this woman frustrates my every action in trying to be a good husband to her. I mean, why would she even go through my phone in the first place? Huh? Why? with women on the phone, even deep into the night. Who does that? She even had the guts to pick my phone and call my female friends to warn them. had not given her the authority. She wouldn't dare say that to me. Charles did not give her or any other woman the authority to insult you. Okay, she's just rude and disrespectful. That is all there is to her. Listen, sometimes we just have to turn a blind eye to the things that our husbands do, else we'll end up on hospital beds. And guess what? They will still continue their lifestyle, so... Liz, you are not in my shoe. If Nick was a womanizer, you wouldn't be saying this now. Nick is not his scent, but... He's my devil. So sweet. Listen, we've been through hell to get to where we are today. It's never been easy. Sometimes I just hate him so much. has connections. The right one. She's connected around diplomats. Not important, Charles. So what's more important than your connection? Your wife. You hear me? Every other thing comes after your wife. She comes first before anyone. She comes first before anything. Do you understand? Um, I have your, um, your, your best alcohol in the house. Would you like it uh, chilled or you just want it straight? No, I would rather we go in and you talk to your wife and fix things. Uh, mm. You forget you're still a young man sometimes. Do the right thing, Charles. Age regardless.
Odds with it. Odds with what? Oh, you've been staring at me funny for a while now, so... Out with it, I'm listening. It's nothing. I mean, I just think it's funny how you and Charles are best friends, yet so different. He's who he is, and I'm who I am. <laughs> Didn't they say that birds of the same feathers flock together? I'm quite aware you know the implication of what you've just said, Liz. Yes, I do. I mean, if you're not influencing him, Nick, I wonder if he's influencing you. Are you insinuating? that I am cheating on you with other women. I didn't say that. I just wonder what your role is in all of Chelsea's crimes. He's an adult. Liz, stop it. He's an adult. So he has the rights to live his life, whichever way he chooses. He has the right to do what he pleases, go what he wants, do what he wants, go wherever he pleases, whatever and however. He does not need my permission. So you won't stop him? You won't even try? And how is it my business how he lives his life? Well, make it your business, husband. Because no woman is happy to know that her husband's best friend is a womanizer. He's not hungry. Is he fasting? Eat your food.
I should know better. I'm sorry. It's okay, baby. I... I should have gotten so angry myself, Liz. I'm, I'm sorry, too. I promise it won't happen again, okay? I believe you. I believe you. Hey. You know I love you, right? You know I do love you. But I just thought I'd remind you. Thank you. About my love for you. Will be a time. You know, we've really come a long way. Yes, we have. I mean, this is a new chapter in our lives. Four months ago, you were just a civil servant. But just... Just look at you today. respect anymore. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. What's the worst that can happen? Shh. Don't answer that. <laughs> Let's just keep praying. God is leading us somewhere. So Nick, you're a good guy. But in this part of the world, things are, are done differently. So are you saying that good guys don't um, win elections? No. The good guys win the election. But you need the bad guys to do your dirty jobs. You understand? I see. So what are you planning? I have an idea. I'm listening. Yeah. 
Yeah, hi. How are you? Um, nice meeting you. Ciao. Hello. Hello, that's Nick. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, hello. So, um, let's just go straight into uh, the reason we are here. And <laughs> we can enjoy the rest of the night, right? Yeah. I can make all your problems go away. Human or otherwise. Oh yeah, okay. She's quite resourceful. Alright, um <coughs> Is there something I need to do? Uh, nothing. Actually nothing. That's the the good part of everything. He's right. There's always a price to pay. Get ready to fry dirty. Roll up your sleeves. There's absolutely no good guy in politics. We just have the winners and the losers. And I always like to win. We. We would like to win. <laughs> Everyone would like to lose, right? <laughs> so, um, with that all said and done, I think we should enter the merry mood and um, drink up and probably dance. Mm -hmm. How about that? <laughs> right? Why don't we join them? So, <laughs> you look very, very good. I was saying I like the. Uh, um, um, Nick, come on, you should. Um, <laughs> thanks, but um, uh, no. Alright, I'll just um, do the shots now. It's past eleven. Alright, I have to. Oh yeah, he's uh, actually too good. But yeah, that's not the problem, right? Is it? <laughs> that's a big problem. You know, we just stay here. Stay here and lock the door. I'll be back. I'll be back. You said nothing is missing. Nothing is missing. But Nick, um, I think we need to post some officers around your home until after the election. Um, Godfather, <laughs> thanks for your concern, but in all honesty, I don't think that would be necessary for now. You know, it's politics. And of course, you know, there are a lot of bad elements in it. Very bad element. Nick? It's, it's okay. It's fine, okay? Relax, everything is alright. Everything is alright, madam. You just relax. Take it easy. Um, Godfather. You would agree with me that um, this won't be worth it if my family would have to live in fear. Nick, think about the millions your tenor will help and the continuity the governor craves. 
You see, this is just a little sacrifice for the greater good. Yes, Godfather, that's very true. But no one ever said anything about my family's life being in danger. And that worries me. Oh, come on. It will pass. Tomorrow is the primaries. And that's a mere formality. For sure, you will emerge. And then we prepare for the next stage. Okay? Uh, Godfather, good morning. Hi, Charles. I got your message. What happened? Oh, come on, Charles. Everything is under control. Everything is under control. You talk to your friend, Charles. We go. Did you at least see your faces? Charles. Did you sleep at home last night? That's not why I'm here, okay? I came because you, you, you called and I, you know, I, I got your message and I rushed out of the house to come and see you and make sure that everything is okay. Great. Let's talk inside. Look, my friend, that's not why I came here. Okay. Right, move it! Get up! Move it! Get up! Get up! Out! I said get up! He has been described as one of the fast rising government officials who rumors say the governor himself has picked to succeed him. Reports suggest that his adoption may be the handwork of his political opponent who fears he would have a landslide victory at the forthcoming Gubar election. Our correspondent attempts to speak with his wife has healed no results. You know, I, I spoke with the police commissioner and they guarantee me that he's alive and he's safe. That's a, a huge step in stone. Please. I want him back home. Right now. His children miss him. my toes till he comes back. He's my best friend. And I'll do everything humanly possible to make sure that he's back alive and healthy. We cannot have you roaming the streets when we have able hands working on this situation. Okay. And make sure you eat. You're beginning to be down. He will like it. Leave no stone unturned. Come everywhere until Nick is found. Remember, no one sleeps. Wake up everybody, because this is a trying moment in my life. Yes, Your Excellency, sir. You may leave.
You know, your wife has a sweet voice. What do you want? You people think money is everything. Who do you work for? This is a sad news. I was visiting my sister and her husband when I heard the news. Jerry, when those behind this crime are found, I will let the full arm of the law and the powers of my office descend on them like the heavens, no matter who they are. <laughs> I know how this looks that his disappearance have cleared the way for me. But I can't do that because I know all fingers will still point back at me. Jerry, no one has accused you of any crime you know. I know it's either my enemies are at work or just normal kidnappings for ransom. Well, whatever it is, I consider it a crime. And the perpetrators have crossed the line with this one and they have automatically become the enemies of the state. Please pay me my money, let me go. No the money on a daft. See what you give me. Mm. We'll pay you, we'll pay you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Why did you drug him? Tell you, I can pull him. He shall drug him. I'm going to tell my money. I'm going to tell your money. You got to tell your money. Go tell me. Get out. I Before. thought you want to go and call better person. <laughs> Forget this girl. Guy, you don't finish this. This girl, they lock you. <laughs> make it so, like nah, this, you tell no pay this girl. Ah, he be witch. I go wooze you. No, they talk that kind of nonsense. <laughs> this is a nonsense. You, you pay? Let's go. Let's like go. eat. We need to pinpoint the right location fast. 
This is not interesting anymore. I think I should just sleep. If you see any suspicious movement, just wake me up. Hey. Come. What is wrong? Did you lose money? Some boys bought my offer. I refused to pay me. Where are they? That place, number 18. I beg give this girl and let her go now. What? Let's go to number 18. Why? There is nothing to do. Let's kill time with us. Start the vehicle. I come in on my boy. Why is that? What is that? Try him at all. Yeah, you go. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Thank you. It's over. I understand, son. We need more men. Thank you. 
Suzuki. Yes, thank you very much. I'm, I'm fine. Get up! His Excellency has had the good news. The boys confessed. And it was Jerry who hired them. Jerry. Well, you will be running almost unopposed now. The other political parties don't have any solid candidate. They don't. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Can we all at least, you know, go inside? charge of the affairs of your family. You don't need a top party in your marriage. If not, there will be a problem. And for you, ma'am, you need to be very attractive for him. You need to love him very much. If not, he will look outside for other girls. And that will be a problem in your family. Above all, you need love, respect, perseverance, endurance, Trust.
I do something? My wife. She's not perfect. In fact, she's... She's horrible. Played a role in all this trouble. you this last time. What's the location? <laughs> I've put the kids to bed. We can have time together.
vecchia. We go up together and have a hot bath. And Be more. 